This over here is a Stage 3 IS20 Turbo VW Polo GTI. Now you must be thinking why are we covering another IS20 GTI? We covered one two years ago almost in Hyderabad. Well, let me tell you that this thing over here is no ordinary GTI. For that, I have to sit in the driver's seat and tell you exactly why. This is India's... Woohoo! Oh my God! First manual convert Polo GTI. And it is an absolute monster. directly talk about the topic of this video this thing over here this is a six speed manual transmission in a vw polo gti now if you're an international viewer you must be wondering that's not such a big deal because in countries from europe you already get this transmission as an option but in india you only got the dq200 seven speed dsg now that's a faster transmission than this six speed manual over here but i mean that kills the whole point of a hot hatch in my opinion a hot hatch is supposed to be something which is fun to drive very engaging it really brings out those goosebumps when you're driving and with the dq200 well it was a very fun car but i think so this is much more engaging much more fun to drive and yeah so what exactly speed sport delhi over here has done is that they've ordered a six speed manual transmission from europe a real six speed manual which is meant for the gti so that they have no fitting issues they don't have to cut the chassis or you know do any sort of stupid alterations to it and it's a direct plug and play kind of thing so this is a real gti six speed transmission it's not picked up from an octavia 1.4 or you know it's not anything like that proper proper oem stuff and i have to say with a third pedal over here for the clutch yeah this is a very very special driving experience not for you international viewers but for us indians this is a very big deal now when it comes to the interior it's pretty standard apart from this thing over here this is a golf r infotainment system it gets apple carplay android auto a little bit more fancier and i love the fact that these guys have done everything super tastefully i mean just look at the car from the outside talking about the exterior well what a looker i mean it looks fabulous it gets some really sick looking forged ats wheels and they're painted white why white because these guys are heavily into rallying i mean if you see their garage it's full of rally cars old s teams they have a polo rally car and yeah rally cars have white wheels and i'm pretty sure that's why they've uh, painted the wheels white and it goes really really nice with the white paint as well you get some really sick looking decals on the side with speed sport written uh you get a maxton rear spoiler lip if i'm not wrong uh you get a wrc bumper in the front this is a real wrc bumper not some uh china made bumper or anything like that this is a real wrc street bumper for the polo gti and apart from that looks pretty standard on the outside as far as a gti goes but if you start having a closer look at some of the components you'll start understanding that this is a real serious machine i mean for example look at the tires might look like some normal tires but actually these are semi slick mrf tires and i'm pretty sure the grip on these is going to be insane and then if you look behind the wheels you have a massive massive brake rotor which has been picked up from a golf r in fact that whole braking system has been picked up from a golf r and i'm pretty sure that also is going to be super powerful and underneath the hood you have the gen 3 e888 1.8 tsi now this car has a lot of modifications done to it and it has some stuff that my car also doesn't have because pretty much it's the same engine for example it gets a wagner competition intercooler you have a bmc cda carbon fiber intake system you also get an is20 turbo just like my car and this thing is also running a speed sport full exhaust system with catcon as well and i love the fact that these guys do most of their things in house and i'm pretty sure this car sounds absolutely insane uh this thing is also running a speed sport custom remap and it has a switchable remap as well so it has three different settings for the remap let's hop inside and quickly talk about that before we continue with this video a quick word from our sponsor the little men from above little astronaut wallets This little wallet is slim, durable, sustainable and of course stylish. This is my personal slim bifold wallet 
and it is pretty robust. I have used and abused it for a couple of months. I've taken it on rides, treks and done quite a lot of bad stuff. I've even put it to my washing machine, but it still is in pretty good nick. It can hold up to 13 cards. It's all RFID safe and it's got two secret compartments for your two secret cards. You also have a slider for your favorite card, which happens to be my license. And it also comes with one year warranty. So in a world full of humans, be a little astronaut. Check out littleastronaut.com. This thing is unlike anything I've ever driven. Look at this smile on my face. I mean, this has to be one of the best EA 888 builds I've ever driven. It might not be the fastest or you know the craziest sounding one or anything of that sort, but when it just comes to pure fun, this thing is on a different level. The way it builds up speed is just different and you have this third pedal and this little wiggly thing in the middle. It just makes the driving experience so much more engaging. So like I said, Speedsport has developed three different maps for this car. Uh, previously in the intro, I was driving on the low boost map uh, that used to make 255 horsepower. I'm on the medium setting map. Uh, which is on 95 ron fuel and it's making around 300 hp if you go to the third map which is on xp 100 it makes a ridiculous 340 hp what in such a small car with such a small wheelbase There are a couple of components in this build which help it manage that power a little bit better. You have GAB adjustable coilovers and it's in its current setting very compliant, stiff enough for you to have fun but compliant enough for you know like all these bumps on the road. Uh, it also has the 345mm big brake kit from a Golf R which again is definitely needed because the way this thing picks up speed is unlike anything I've driven in a hatchback. This six-speed manual just completely changes the driving experience of this car. And the map is so linear, so, you know, just responsive and communicative. I love that. And the owner has also changed the pedals in this car. It gets a couple of Sparco pedals and you can do nice heel and toe downshifts as well. Traction is a big issue in this thing. These MRF semi-slick, they're struggling to keep up uh, with the amount of power and torque this thing has. Oh my God. We have a stage three one liter TSI Polo following us, you know, just showing us the routes and all. And I just gapped him to a different country. And this is what hot hatches are all about. I mean, yeah, the DSG in the Polo GTI that you get in India was good and all, but it's just not as good as a six-speed manual. This thing has completely changed the game for hot hatches. The things that make a hot hatch good are the engagement of it. It's not supposed to be the fastest thing on the road. And that's what made the Abarth Punto such a cool car. Even the new i20 N-Line with the manual transmission such a cool car. Yup. I think so, the Octi needs a manual transmission now, definitely. And the funny thing is that Speedsport hasn't changed the steering wheel, it still gets the paddles, but of course, they do nothing. Yep, such a cool car. And the fact that it's a GTI, you get two doors, these lovely tartan seats, dream build for sure. And I think so, this is something that I should have considered before buying the Octi. I'm a little jealous of Phil from Speedsport now. What a thing. I'm seriously, seriously considering of doing a manual swap in my Octavia 
TSI. And I mean, there are more pros than cons in a build like this because first of all, you don't have the anxiety of the DQ200 failing or anything of that sort. And the engagement levels in driving this car just go on a different level altogether. This is one of the most unique builds that I've ever seen. And, I'm, and I really like the fact that Speedsport isn't running behind any sort of records or any sort of quarter mile times with this thing. It's just made for pure driving fun. And that's the reason why I absolutely adore this build. If you have a GTI and if you have some money lying around, I would definitely suggest you to do a manual swap on your Polo GTI. And with that, I think so that's the end of this video. This is one heck of a car and you should definitely check out Speedsport Delhi because these guys are some madmen. A big shout out to Phil from Speedsport and Kashif Nazim for helping us out in arranging this shoot. This is one really special car and I hope more Polo GTIs get manual transmission swaps. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow us on Instagram, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, comment down below what you think of this build and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm going to drive this car a little bit more.